Elon Musk has refuted a claim that he discussed the possibility of using nuclear weapons with Vladimir Putin before putting up a peace plan that called for Ukraine to relinquish land to Russia. Hey people, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at why Musk denies that he talked to Putin about nuclear weapons. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and most importantly, watch the video to the end. Let's get started. The head of the political risk firm, Eurasia Group, who made the initial allegation, asserted that Musk himself was his source. After Musk's denial on Twitter, Ian Bremmer responded with the tweet that read, Elon Musk told me that he had spoken with Putin and the Kremlin personally regarding Ukraine. He also revealed to me the red lines of the Kremlin. For 24 years, I have been publishing a weekly geopolitical bulletin. This week's update was no exception to my policy of writing openly and without fear or favor. Bremer reported that the Tesla CEO informed him that Putin was willing to negotiate, but only if Crimea remained under Russian control. Ukraine agreed to maintain some kind of permanent neutrality, and Ukraine acknowledged Russia's annexation of Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson, and Zaporizhzhia. At a moment when their forces are on the offensive, such circumstances would amount to a near total surrender by the Ukrainians. According to Bremer, Musk said in the newsletter that Putin had assured him that those military objectives would be met, no matter what, including the probable use of a nuclear weapon if Ukraine retook Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. Musk reportedly informed Bremer that everything needs to be done to avert that scenario, according to Bremer. By stating that Crimea was fundamentally Russian and that phony referendum in four other seized Ukrainian provinces should be rerun under UN supervision, with Russia departing only if they lost the vote. Musk incited fury around the world on October 3rd. He proposed that Ukraine would promise long-term neutrality and ensure Crimea's access to water. Musk placed the ideas up for an online vote, which resulted in their defeat. In Ukraine, they were mocked, but Russian state media gave them notoriety. Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of the nation, ran a mock survey asking readers which Elon Musk they preferred, the one who supported Ukraine or the one who supported Russia. Musk denied speaking with the Russian president before putting his ideas forth. I've only ever had one conversation with Putin, and that was around 18 months ago. The topic was space. He wrote on Twitter, What will become of it all? Ukraine's issue seems to be even further from being resolved than before. Mass graves, nuclear threats, and the impression that both sides are all in. Following a revelation by Eurasia Group President Ian Bremer that he had done so, Tesla CEO Elon Musk denies having a direct conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin prior to tweeting out a Twitter poll with a sharply criticized suggestion for a peace plan for Russia and Ukraine. Musk's survey from last week advised that Crimea, which Moscow illegitimately acquired in 2014, be turned over to Russia, and that four other occupied areas which account for 15% of Ukraine's landmass, retake their referendums on joining Russia under UN supervision. Additionally, he suggested that Ukraine maintain its neutrality by abandoning its application to join NATO and that Crimea's water supply be secured. Bremer described a recent conversation he claimed to have had with Musk in a newsletter he issued to subscribers of the Eurasia Group. The newsletter was obtained by Global News after being originally published by Vice News. Musk, though, refuted the dialogue taking place in a tweet on Tuesday in response to Vice News' revelation. He wrote, I have only spoken to Putin once, and that was around 18 months ago. Later, in a series of tweets of his own, Bremer stood by his version, claiming that Musk had informed him that he had spoken with Putin and the Kremlin personally about Ukraine and had communicated with the Kremlin's red lines in the fight. For 24 years, Bremer stated, I have been publishing my weekly email on geopolitics. This week's update was no different from the others in that I write openly and without fear of favor. Although Bremer has always admired Musk as an entrepreneur, he is not a geopolitics expert, Bremer continued. Bremer tweeted that nobody should trust Bremer, and Musk personally responded. Musk reportedly told Bremer that Putin intends to achieve these objectives, no matter what, and that the alternative would be serious escalation during their conversation. Putin reportedly told Musk that if Ukraine took back Crimea, Russia would retaliate with a nuclear strike on Ukraine. Musk said that outcome needed to be avoided at all costs, according to Bremer. According to Bremer's account of their meeting, Musk expressed worries about more direct threats from the Russian president, while the Eurasia Group founder expressed concerns about Putin's influence over the Tesla CEO. While he avoided saying anything overt to me, Bremer noted that the two men did discuss Russian cyber capabilities and the country's capacity to interfere with his satellites. 
Bremer stated that his own reaction was not to accept Putin's claims at face value and that he thought there was zero chance that the West or Ukraine would accept Moscow's offer. Bremer noted that Musk appeared to think this was a fair reaction, yet Musk afterwards shared Putin's suggestion answers in the Twitter poll. Bremer raised alarm in his newsletter about the potential impact of Musk's tweets, which he claimed contained false information about Crimea's past relations with Russia could have on American perceptions of the Russian-Ukraine war. Bremer said that unlike Europe, the United States is possibly divided on the conflict, with the Trump-supporting Republican Party expressing a wish to halt providing financial aid to Ukraine in this conflict. In Bremer's words, you'll have those same views on Trump and his full political base behind it, potentially leading the United States to become fundamentally divided on the issue given that Elon Musk now looks increasingly likely to buy Twitter, at which point he'll reinstate the former president. According to a Ukrainian official who spoke to the magazine, Ukraine has had problems with Starlink since September 30th. According to Ukrainian officials, Musk turned down the request to utilize Starlink above Crimea. Oliver Carroll of The Economist tweeted, They refused to say why they were doing it. He continued, Ukrainians started having issues with Starlink shortly before Musk saw Twitter foray. Ukrainian diplomat Andrzej Melnik tweeted, Fuck off is my very diplomatic reply to you in response to criticism of Mr. Musk's peace idea. In reaction to Mr. Musk, Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, published another survey. In a video with the media on October 4th, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov stated that it's extremely great if someone like Elon Musk is seeking for a peaceful way out of this crisis. Unlike many seasoned diplomats, Musk is still looking for ways to bring about peace, and it is utterly impossible to achieve peace without agreeing to Russia's demands, he continued, according to Reuters. The Russian official media has also exploited Mr. Musk's tweets in reports. SpaceX's out-of-pocket expenditure to enable and sustain Starlink in Ukraine is $80 million so far, Mr. Musk wrote in a tweet on October 3rd. We don't assist Russia in any way. We are obviously pro-Ukraine. Retaking Crimea will likely fail, result in great human suffering and increase the risk of nuclear war. Both Earth and Ukraine would suffer greatly from this. Bremer claims that for the past 24 years he has been publishing his weekly newsletter without fear or favor, and that, despite his admiration for Musk as an entrepreneur, he is not an expert in geopolitics. Bremer claimed that Musk informed him, among other things, that Putin was willing to negotiate, but only if Crimea, which the Kremlin illegitimately acquired in 2014, remained a part of Russia. There appeared to be demands for Ukraine to maintain its neutrality and recognize Russia's annexation of the four eastern Ukraine territories in September. According to Bremer, Musk also disclosed that Putin and him had discussed the potential use of nuclear weapons in Ukraine, and that he had informed the Russian president that everything needed to be done to avert that outcome. With that, the video has come to an end. Let us know what you think in the comments section to help us expand our community and attract more people who share our interests and are eager to learn. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you thought the video was interesting. Till then, bye!